Every country has its own way of life, and it is perfect in its own right. You can't beat that. Some countries have an affinity to one thing which might be completely alien to another. We aren't complaining. After all, it is the variation that makes them all the more beautiful and worth living in. Canada, for that matter, is an amazing country with uber cool people. The ones you won't see causing trouble in general. But that doesn't mean that you can get away with almost anything in Canada. Darling, that is definitely not the case. We don't mean to scare you away, but here are 10 things you shouldn't do in Canada if you want to avoid trouble. Number 10. Say you don't like maple syrup. When a country has a maple leaf silhouette on its flag, you just don't insult it if you want to keep your head on your shoulders. Since the tree yields some food items that can be called Canadian, the country is obviously attached to it. A natural sweetener, maple syrup is used to flavor oatmeal, waffles, and pancakes. The ingredient is available in plenty of forms like powder, taffy, candy, liquid, etc. So tourists often take it with them as souvenirs. But in case it isn't to your liking, instead of being verbal about it, the silent treatment will suit you better. It'll be safer, you'll see. Number 9. Say Canadians are like Americans. For once and for all, guys, these are two separate countries, and constantly trying to find a point of similarity in them is insulting to both. If you want to test how quick Canadians can join hands with each other and stand against you, just say that they are Americans in every way. You have no idea what a reaction this will elicit. Since 1867, Canada has had a separate national identity, so please don't mix these two up. Number 8. Talk in a fake Canadian accent. Okay now, people jetting off to Canada for a little vacation, by no means are you pulling off a fake Canadian accent, so don't try. It might interest you to know that the so-called accent you have seen people come up with, termed as Canadian, is as fake as their claim of ever landing in that country. The real one is way different than what you've heard from these expert mimics. That brings us to another important thing. In case you find some Canadian talking in an American accent, don't overreact because the accents are similar in certain areas. Number 7. Practice Witchcraft Was the Harry Potter series even released in this country? Or maybe the kids of Canada were waiting for their Hogwarts letter and got disappointed to the extent that the government was left with no option but to ban witchcraft. Well, whatever be the reason, if you are pretending to be involved in sorcery or witchcraft, just know that your days are over in this country. This is a punishable offense, and that is enough reason for you to stay away from any such practice. For Harry Potter fans, this is going to be hard for you. Number 6. Not use the metric system. If you are traveling from the US to Canada for a mini holiday, remember that Canada has a different way of functioning, and by this we mean it follows the metric system. The Americans may have a tough time dealing with this new system which has little space for pounds and gallons. Isn't it strange how America would need a complicated conversion chart in the kitchen, whereas Canada goes the simple way? Metric system it is. Number 5. Swear in a public park. Yeah, people, if you are just wandering off to a park while in Canada and have a huge ugly fight with your friend, remember not to swear. It is against the law to swear in a public park in Toronto, Ontario. No matter how unreal you feel it is, just abide by this law or else be prepared to face the consequences. That might be tough for a lot of people, but the laws force you to button up your mouth, especially if you have a foul one at that. Number 4. No music on the streets. So you're good with the guitar? You can rejoice in that, but silently, as there is no way you are putting your skills on display while in Canada. Yes, that might make you feel sad, but we can't help you, buddy. In Windsor, Ontario, music in the parks, residences, or offices is forbidden if it is loud enough to disrupt the peace. And all this while we believe that music brought peace. Wow, we're such fools. Number 3. Own a crime comic. All school kids, teens, and adults that are not ready to grow up when it comes to comics, in short, you will be disappointed with this strange Canadian law. You cannot make, print, publish, distribute, or even possess a crime novel with the intention of circulating or publishing. No Spider-Man, no Superman, and definitely no Daredevil for those Canadian kids. Poor souls. Oops, how will we survive if we decide to move to this country? Let's change our vacation plan and jet off to another planet. Number 2. Derogatory Comments About Hockey No matter what your opinions are about hockey or specific players, no negative remark is ever escaping your lips. The Stanley Cup is sacred for Canadians, and anything against the sport is unpardonable. Even in Toronto, where people have a great sense of humor, 
Degrading comments about the players or sport in general can hurt their sentiments, and that won't end in a pretty way. Still want to try it? At your own risk, darling. Number one, forgetting to return an apology. Thanks to Canada's polite nature, you will often hear the phrase, I'm sorry. Not that they are making mistakes 24-7, but the word sorry is often used for excuse me or pardon me, so you can well imagine its total usage. Well, now that the fact of using it often is clear, we will move on to tell you there is a rule attached to it. Yeah, to use a term as basic as sorry, you have to follow some guidelines. Okay, we went a bit far because there is no manual you gotta read before you apologize, just return an apology when it comes your way. This includes times when someone stepped on your foot and said sorry. You still return it back, with a smile, of course. Which of these will you observe while traveling to the amazing country, Canada? Tell us in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel if you liked this video. And while you're here, check out our other videos and tell us what you think of them. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching.